as you know, there's not much uh, time between Malaysia and, and China uh, so uh, to re really regroup. So it's, it's pretty tough on all the teams and obviously they have to get all the stuff into the crate and fly it over to China. Um, so it's, uh, it's pretty tough, um, but we've done it before, we're experienced. They're really, really going from one Grand Prix to the next, uh, back to back. It's quite simple really. I mean, it's, it's, it's easy to reset, you know, it takes a day or so to, you know, you just on to the next one. You know, you switch off straight after the Grand Prix and you're like, okay, next one, whether it's good or bad, from what you've just experienced, you say, okay, next one I need to keep this going or I need to improve. I think it's harder probably for the guys because they've got to take all the car to, to bits on the, on the Sunday night and then pack it all up, send it out, and then get when it gets there, rebuild it again. And so they are under incredible pressure. I like going to China. I like. Uh, I think it's a great place. I love the food. I really like the people. Um, the race is a little bit far out, but I get to go and have a bit, play a golf before I get there. Usually. And then, uh, and then the track. You know, I've I've generally been really quick there for the last few years. Yeah, it's a fun city. You know, it's a great place if you want to go shopping, um, and uh, see some beautiful architecture. Uh, so, yeah, you know, I enjoy going to Shanghai, and it's, um, you know, I'm very lucky that I'm doing a job that I love, but also that I get to travel around the world and see so many uh, different cultures and, and uh, beautiful cities. For me, the the Chinese circuit is a uh, is similar to Malaysia. You know, it's 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 quite flowing. There are some trickier corners. You know, turn one is very bumpy under braking, very tough to get the car in, and it just tightens, 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 and you're always on the edge of the tire all the way through the corner. Um, you've also got a very long back straight, which is great, and hopefully be very good for overtaking. Uh, and there's also a section. I think it's turn six through to turn eleven where you don't breathe because of the G's are so high, you just can't breathe. So it's, uh, it's a great section of circuit, as long as you're not apprehensive, as long as you can stay relaxed. Uh, but I've, I've enjoyed racing there, and you know, I won there last year, so it's, uh, I've got good memories from, from the Grand Prix. It's generally been a really strong track for me. I don't know why particularly, but really suits my driving style. And it's got a real great combination of corners, cambered corners as well, so it's pretty cool. There is a few opportunities because you've got to overtake because you've got uh, the really long, long back straight. Um, it's very long, so it's almost I can't I don't know how many kilometres it is, but it's it's very long. And and you come out the corner, uh, turn 13 or 12, 13, and you've, you're able to follow reasonably close and slipstream the guys all the way down to a really nice hairpin. So it's a perfect straight setup for an overtaking manoeuvre. Turn one is very tricky because you're carrying a lot of speed into that corner, uh, but you've also got turn five. Which is a very tough place to overtake, but when you when you actually make a move there and it comes off, it's a, it's a great feeling. And when it's wet in China, I mean you can overtake anywhere. You know, around the outside, down the inside, over the top. You know, it seems that any anything goes when it's wet there. But this year, obviously, with more experience uh, with the team, uh, I've I've had time to really uh, develop the car around me and uh, I found my comfort zone within the car whereas before I felt like I was sitting, sitting quite high now I'm properly in the car I feel a part of it and that is that is so important to me you know I've learned so much over the years I've been racing for 11 years in Formula 1 and you've got to always remember that you're never um, you, you don't know everything and you can always learn more I mean there's the nutrition side of things that I've started working on now that I never even thought about before um, so you're trying to, to, to be the perfect driver It's been a lot of fun, I've really enjoyed working with Vodafone and uh, I look forward to many other challenges because it's not just a, a partner event for, for Lewis and myself, it's most of the time it's a challenge and it's something very different. We're not actually told what we're doing before we arrive and that's, uh, that's why it's a lot of fun. Uh, yeah, so I've, I'm looking forward to the next one, I'm not sure what it's going to be but um, hopefully sooner rather than later.